Our original goals for this project were to bring the Horn King to life in a live action atmosphere. In the original animated film, the Horn King is primarily in the shadow for most of the film. He's mysterious, his evil is sort of shrouded by darkness, so we really wanted to capture that moment of his unveiling and the terror that that moment inspires. We drew from a lot of different things and we just had a really solid idea of what we wanted with this going into it. And because of that, I think we were able to execute it really well. It was really interesting learning how to sculpt things that would be applied onto an actual human being. I'm used to working in CAD for engineering projects where there are very specific parameters on uh, what you have to create and everything has a purpose other than just aesthetics. So it was very interesting working on design where the purpose is aesthetics and you really have to concern yourself mostly with how something is going to look and how other people are going to react with it. I think in the end modeling pace kind of saved our butts because we had the issue with the tape not sticking to the gloves and so really kind of worked to our advantage because it was able to accentuate all of those little cracks and crevices in the gloves. Very clearly the trickiest portion of this project was the actual application. You know, we went into application day really, really prepared. We did a makeup test on her beforehand, we went in, we were like, okay, Becca, let's do this. And we had a set plan. We got there at 7 a.m. We were like, all right, we are going to be on schedule. But, <laughs> I mean, as luck would have it. You're dealing with a living being who has their own comfort levels. You're adding all this stuff to them that isn't normally there. And if she hasn't had breakfast that morning, all of that on her might do something. I feel like that was the highest stress moment of this project by far. We somehow made it through it. We somehow got the filming done in like under an hour, but it was the worst moment of all of our lives. I think working together with all of our different skill sets is what really made this project a success. You know, we all came together with my more artistic side and Maddie's experience with film and Oz's engineering. We really brought all of our skills to the table and were able to execute a really successful project because of that. It was definitely surprising to see if, how easy it ended up being for us to adapt to everything. It was good for our development as a strong team for keeping the Horn King alive and headed in the direction that he was. I really thought that we were going to have more major setbacks than the ones that we had. And maybe saying that before the project is totally over is just asking for me to be struck by lightning. <laughs>